In this video, we'll show you how to customize a data widget. As you begin to edit your report, it's a good idea to focus on the metrics that are most important for measuring success on performance TV. Impression and conversion data is important, but we recommend you also focus on TV views, audience reach, and site traffic, as these will give you a good idea of your campaign's effectiveness. You can begin adding new data widgets to your report by duplicating an existing widget and clicking Edit. Select the metric you would like to track. We'll select Total Verified Visits. You can then arrange your data widgets by dragging and dropping or deleting if you don't need them. To change the name of your data widgets, simply navigate to the Appearance tab and input your desired label in the title field. For example, if your conversion point is a lead submission, you can rename the Cost Per Acquisition widget to Cost Per Lead or CPL to align with your KPIs. The data widgets can also help you measure how your performance changes over time. To do this, click the Edit icon, then the Appearance tab, and toggle Display Delta on. This will display the difference in this metric over time. It compares the current time period with the prior time period of the same length. You can see the currently tracked time period in the upper right corner. And if you hover over the Display Delta number in the widget, it will show you how performance stacks up. The metrics we've selected in this tutorial are important. However, you have total control of which metrics to include. So be sure to add any that are valuable to you, like ROAS, conversion rate, or average order value. To learn more about customizing your reporting dashboard, be sure to check out the rest of our tutorial videos.